Hey everyone, I'm Castle Buddy and today I'm going to be doing another word command block video. So, first if you want to get yourself a command block, you have to do slash gi tab space tab space tab comm tab enter. Sorry for the lag by the way. Anyway, so you paste the command that will be in the comment section. Also, huge thanks for to MC Stacker and Mr. Gretto's one command block box generator for all for the magic in one command block video and the well this one. So in this little one command block video. As you may be able to tell by the name of this video and those crafting tables over there, it's, well, mechanical workbenches in one command block. So if you want to get yourself one, you have to put a crafting table right here and one iron block right here and you will get two items. One is a mechanical workbench and there's a piece of your iron back. So if you want to place a mechanical workbench, just use this mechanical work workbench egg, then this will pop up. Also, you will get a few ink sacks. Anyway, so you can operate the crafting table as normal. However, you if you look up and open up the crafting table, it will pop up this new interface, the mechanical workbench one, in which you can make power cores and make mechanical armor using it. So first, I have to craft my mechanical arm, well, my power cores and then the mechanical armor. Then I need the armor itself. Also, there's one item that works a little bit differently. Gonna need this as well. So, time to make one, two, three. You'll see why there's only three in them in a moment. So now that I have three power cores, I can move on to the recipes. So first off is the robotic chest plate, the mechanical helm, this one is also quite different, the mechanical leggings, and this is the one I was talking about, the rocket boots. And if you get it, it says, flying removed. So now, I'm gonna put on the armor. Also, just note one thing. Notice how fast I'm running right now. Now, when I put this on, I have protection 10, feather falling 10, depth and depth strider 10, which basically means I can move even faster in water. Watch. Swimming made easy. Now if I go into survival, as you can see I have, well, I think I only have two and, uh, well, four and a half hearts. If I can get up to a cliff, I'll show you how the feather falling 10 works. I think I should just take off the boots for now. Now as you can see, the robotic armor doesn't provide much protection, well, in terms of the armor bar, however, with the protection enchantment, it should work quite well. So anyway, if I walk around here, and eventually get up to the top, Now there's this giant crater here, if I put on my rocket boots, nothing at all, well, almost nothing, whereas normally I probably would have been defeated from that. So really the rocket boots save your life at times, but you shouldn't go jumping off high cliffs anyway, it can just help you for, say, slowly getting down. 
Anyway, if I can just take off my armor, and I'll keep on the helmet. It's pretty nice. Oh, also the helmet gives you plus five mob follow range, so I think monsters can see you from even further away, but that's no big deal since the armor is pretty good. So if I head off into creative, I'll show you that, say you don't want the machine in your world, which basically all it does is keep the mechanical workbench up and running. Yeah. Also, it is a little bit tricky to get rid of the mechanical workbench. The thing is that you can't really get rid of the mechanical part, so just do... I'll leave this command in the description, and it will get rid of the workbench. However, the crafting table is still left behind. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in another episode!